Hey everyone, uh, this is Chad Richardson with uh, MVP. Uh, my primary role at MVP is the uh, designing of the discs and overseeing all manufacturing aspects including molding, hot stamping and everything in between. So I'm, I'm here today to uh, walk you through what's in my bag. So let's see, we'll start with my putters here. Uh, these putters are pretty special. Uh, we just molded these uh, earlier this spring. We are in the middle of uh, testing out some of our firm electron plastic and uh, we're pretty happy with them. I know a lot of people are really eager with the electron plastic. The firmer stuff is uh, quite nice. I usually like a little bit firmer for my putts. I feel like I get a little bit better control. So uh, we're, we're getting ready to be launching this hopefully soon. I know a lot of people are eager for these so that'll be coming soon. And uh, off to the side here I wanted to Usually I have a couple of prototypes or backups that I run through and uh, right now I got a whole bunch of octanes. Uh, the octanes are my primary distance driver so I'm kind of testing out some different ones here. Uh, I, I grabbed a really lightweight one. I wanted to see what this could do on some maybe some crazy tailwinds. Still learning it. Haven't thrown much but pretty promising so far. And uh, I grabbed two protons. I haven't thrown much of the protons yet so I grabbed one of our triple stamps with the rocket stamp on it. I thought that was pretty sweet. We're really happy with how these turned out. Again, still learning it. And uh, for my short game, I've got three putters here. Uh, this summer I kind of was doing the, just wanted to do two putters to see what would happen, but I ended up carrying three. Right now I have the spin from uh, the circuit events this year. Really loving this thing. Right out of the box, understable glide. If I'm you know, within 100 feet, I'll usually throw this for pinpoint placement shots. It's got a lot of float and carry for shorter lines. And if I need some stretched out, maybe 100, 100 maybe 200 foot shots to Anheuser, I'll grab this. Super glidey, very controllable, but nice, good turn and understability that you can, you know, need to turn over. Uh, the Ion, this one, again, I just put this in my bag. I wanted to see if I could do without it this summer, but I've been kind of missing it, so I put it back in here just a couple weeks ago. Again, point and shoot, it's the Ion. I can always trust it, so it's going to do what you tell it. I can, you know, Heiser, Anheuser, whatever I need to do. Nice grippy electron plastic. And uh, the Envy, I've been throwing this ever since it came out. It's pretty much our best driving putter off the tee. You can pretty much throw it as hard as you want. It won't turn over, yet at the same time, it will hold its line. So I can hold it, hyzers, anhyzers, straight, you name it. And I'll throw it as hard as you want. A little bit of wind doesn't really bother it. So super trustworthy. I usually throw this off the tee more often than not. Uh, moving on to the mid-ranges. I keep my mid-ranges pretty simple. I just carry two, but uh, with these two, I'm able to manipulate the lines to whatever I need. Usually the theory, uh, my neutron theory here, I've been throwing this quite a lot off the tee. Wood shots, if I need to get really technical, you know, holding some tight tunnel shots or even slight anhyzers, I'll usually throw this. Even uh, some longer turnover shots when I need to get and finish right, but I can't quite get there with the spin. The theory is here. Uh, even sometimes I'll do some turnover rollers in the woods to kind of get technical. Uh, and then new this year again is the Proton Matrix. Uh, you can only get these in the circuit events. But right now this is our new mid-range core, flat top, really sleek and modern feel. I like to call this the longer NV. I think a lot of people really like to drive with these things. They are pretty money. You can put them on Heiser, straight anhyzer and it's going to hold that line you want pretty stable very dependable lots of high speed stability but not too much low speed fade so it's pretty much point and shoot and uh, for my short drivers i carry four uh i i don't really carry any fairways however i carry some slower speed distance drivers they're uh they're short enough for me to control when i need fairway placement and accuracy but yet i can power up on them to get a little bit extra distance right now my most understable is the neutron insanity uh, this one's pretty beat. I'll use this on my turnovers, anhyzers, even if I need some technical rollers where I need it to turn right and finish out on me that way. Again, super easy to turn over, lots of glide, so I use that one quite a lot, even tailwinds. Uh, Neutron Tesla, this is probably one of my most used fairway drivers. I've had this one ever since we've launched them. And uh, this thing's starting to get broken in. It's nice and straight. I can throw this as hard as I can and it will stand up from a slight hyzer and ride straight the whole way. And from there I can give it some nice sweeping hyzers or long uh, panning out and hyzer shots. Again, probably my most used fairway. Really like this disc. And then uh, to kind of fill in that hole as that breaks in, I grabbed a, a fresher Tesla. 
This is a Proton One, a little bit flatter. Again, I can really grip and rip on this really hard and it's always going to either go straight with a slight fade and uh, generally not turn over on me. I really like this to complement my Neutron One. And the next step up would be the Neutron Motion. Uh, I really like this for its over stability. I pretty much, whenever there's any wind, headwind and I don't want to be finishing right, I will be throwing this. I can throw it flat and I can always depend on it to hook up, maybe get a small skip off to the left. If I really need to, to get out of trouble, I can do some nice side arms. I don't have the cleanest of side arms, so the over stability of the motion will really help me uh, get down the fairway. Again, super dependable. And then uh, distance drivers, I uh, carry four right now. The Wave is uh, kind of my old last summer distance driver. I'd use this for big sweeping hyzer flips. I could put it on an extreme man or a hyzer and it'd stand up and hold straight for a long ways. And uh, my Money Octane, uh, I grabbed this right when we were stamping them off the line. Uh, I grabbed a lighter weight one, usually for faster speed stuff. I'll drop down a couple grams. This one is my, by far the longest disc in my bag. I've gotten it broken in a little bit, so when I rip on it, and throw it, I can put it on a little bit of hyzer, it will stand up and turn over a long ways and then just finish out nice and straight. Doesn't have a lot of side to side motion for a distance driver. It gets me down the range very far, extremely fast, loving the octane. And uh, same thing, another octane, this one's a little bit heavier, a little bit fresher. This one I can hold straight lines and it will finish out just a little bit to left on me. You don't have to worry, worry about it turning over too much. Again, super long, super fast. One of my straightest longer distance drives. Really liking this one as a backup. And last is a Nitro. This thing is pretty much the bigger brother to the Octane. Super overstable. I can really crank on this quite hard. I can even put a little bit of flex lines on it and it's always going to come out of that and finish hard, usually with some nice skips. So if I need to get down the fairway and hook, hook up on the left, this thing's the one to kind of get me there. And uh, that's a, pretty brief rundown of uh, what I carry in my bag. So thanks everyone, I appreciate it.